What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I'm going to play uh, the new Sega Genesis Cla Classics collection, which is out at the end of this month. I believe it's May 29th. There we go. No classic uh, Sega. Although you will hear that in front of uh, some of the games that we check out. Here's the little opening movie. Like it. Uh, Matt Jones. No, Sonic 3 is not in this collection. Only 1 and 2, I believe. Yes. Rise from your grave. Such a badass looking console, isn't it? In terms of just like aesthetics and which console looked cooler, the Genesis blows the Super Nintendo away. So we're going to jump into this uh, new Sega Genesis Classics. In case anybody was wondering what I've been playing recently, I finally I gave uh, Assassin's Creed Origins another go and I'm liking it a lot more this time. Of course, Splunky. Every day. Uh, I've also been jumping back into Rogue Legacy. Uh, in, in my post God of War sort of haze, uh, I, I needed something to cleanse my palate, and Rogue Legacy has been great for that. I love, I've always said Raiden, but I think it's actually supposed to be pronounced Raiden, just like Ninja Gaiden. Raiden 5 has a great arcade shoot 'em up. Battle Chasers Night War is a very cool classic style RPG. Uh, and I, don't, I tried, gave 1001 Spikes a try. Couldn't get into it, nor could I really get into Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors. But we are talking about Sega Genesis Classics today. Oh, yeah. Epilepsy warning. Here we are. Here's our living room scene. <laughs> this is, you know, this is a nice touch. It could be, uh, there could be a little bit more detail here. This looks like a PlayStation 2 living room to me. Do you think they really sold this um, Sonic the Hedgehog floor mat? What's up, Mars? Thanks for joining us. So we've got a game library over here, but um, this acting sort of as our menu screen. You've got your extras over here. Okay, we can look at trophies. The individual games have their individual challenges. Uh, so like for Beyond Oasis, for Columns, uh, they'll start you with a mid-game save. You have to get to a score of 5,000. So these are like fun little bonus challenges that they've added to the games. Golden Axe 3, beat the two Minotaurs without using a continue. It's fun stuff in there. Moving on, uh, they've added online multiplayer to s many of these games, although I haven't gotten a chance to uh, try any of that out yet. But uh, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. I think for like Golden Axe and Streets of Rage, you can play that online with other people. And you can set up emulator settings. There's all sorts of interesting stuff here, like you can make it bilinear, make it epics. This is like, you know, you get a little preview of what it looks like up in the uh, upper left corner with Sonic the Hedgehog up there. But, you know, so it's like filters to smooth out the pixels, but why would you ever want to do that? So we'll do nothing. You could turn on scan lines if you want. I don't usually use scan lines. I like this, uh, this TV projection feature. You'll see this when we actually get into the game, but it gives the TV screen that we're going to be playing our games on a curved look like a retro CRT television. I think that's a nice touch. You can also stretch the games to full screen if you want. And then this is an interesting, interesting feature. You can actually disable the sprite limit of the Sega Genesis. So it would override uh, limitations that were built into the console and theoretically would allow more sprites to be put on screen, although they have a warning here. It may cause other graphical glitches. So. It's just kind of interesting. Then there's a mirror mode that flips the screen horizontally, reverses all gameplay and text, and then the cr the controls are mirrored to match. So I guess that's just to sort of give you, like, if you wanted to walk left instead of walking right in Alter Beast. I guess that's that's there if you want to do that. Maybe we'll try that later on, but we'll jump into some games first here. Game library, audio settings, and then room settings. Room settings are just you can set the time. 
<laughs> not not terribly exciting for audio settings. Anyway, this is what it's all about, though, right? The game library. 40 games in this collection, uh, which is, I think, m the most of any Genesis, Genesis collection so far. It's more than we're on the uh, flashback console that was uh, that I reviewed last summer. And it's more, I believe, than it was on the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection from 2009, which is uh, was just already a very cool collection. And there's some exclusive games on here that haven't been in a collection before, like Landstalker is on here, which is very cool. I actually have a list. Let me grab that list. Our own Sam Claiborne wrote a, uh, the news ar article on uh, announcing this collection. So the exclusive games that haven't appeared on other Genesis collections before are uh, Alien Soldier, Biohazard Battle, Galaxy Force 2, Landstalker, Light Crusader, uh, The Revenge of Shinobi, Toe Jam and Earl, Panic on Funkatron, and the original Toe Jam and Earl. Let's see. Someone asked about Kid Chameleon, and yes, Kid Chameleon is... Included. It's all for 30 bucks, and I believe it's out May 29th. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and PC for now. You gotta know a Switch version will be coming later on down the line, although I agree it's annoying that it's not already there. Anyway, let's play some games. Uh, I'll pick something to start, but you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you, uh, you want to check out. Beyond Oasis is so cool. If you guys don't know this game, let's check this out. This was uh, Sega Gen Sega's you know, attempt at doing a Zelda-like. And it's really, really good. Yeah, there you go. It's not, the music's really good. Nope, <laughs> Battletoads is not on here, Smokes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's also game saves, uh, save states, and a rewind feature. Yeah, Logan, only $30. You can't afford not to buy it. Oh, you want me to play Ultra Beast? Yeah, that's a classic. Music's so good. Well, next to you, sure. No Earthworm Jim, I'm afraid. All right. Skipping this a little bit, skipping ahead a little bit here. So I already have a save file. Yeah, no Aladdin, no Disney games. Toe Jam and Earl, want to check that out? It looks just like Zelda, right? Well, you know, it's awesome. The most exciting game I think is in this collection. Well, the fact that Landstalker is on it is pretty cool. That's an isometric action RPG. I love the look of this game. I love how, like, sort of cartoony it all is. Yeah. Favorite Genesis game? Oh, yeah, the Shining Force uh, games are on here, both one and two. What's a kid doing to me? Uh, those are probably my favorite Sega Genesis games. Oh, no, someone's attacking the village. Look how good this uh, big ogre guy looks. I whooped his ass. Uh, we can try to take a look at the trophies. Let me get my face off there. I like the very synthwave uh, borders here. You can adjust the borders, I believe. So where do you... We'll take a look at a full screen stretch if you guys want. We got. A big old cheese wheel. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. 
you, yeah, it's weird. You hold the touchpad to exit the game. Uh, then you can use uh, you can save your game into a save state slot or load it from here as well. Oh, sorry. And then we can go full screen. Oh, that's sorry. That's just not the real setting. So stretched full screen. Let's see if that works for us. Weird. So now it's giving us, it's not doing the borders, it's showing a, the, actually the TV in, in the living room. But I think you can also stretch it to just be full screen, if I can figure that out. I gotta, I gotta be careful or I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get sucked into Beyond Oasis because this game is very, very cool. I ejected the cartridge. <laughs> Full screen or TV mode? Let's throw an Ultra Beast, see if we can make this actually full screen. What's coming up on GameScoop? Recording this afternoon, we'll definitely be talking about Rage 2. I, I guess this is what they mean by full screen. I guess they don't actually stretch the game. Well, I guess I would rather use the border then. Border, okay. You can change your borders down here, so. Ooh, the jazz border is very cool. And uh, there's a Sonic, Hedge Sonic the Hedgehog border, Streets of Rage. Let's try it. Let's go with the Streets of Rage border. I'm not loading that for me. Jazz is very saved by the bell, right? That text is impossible to read. I can jump over me. Oh, but I guess you get your, like, power orbs from the wolves, don't you? Dude. The uh, Genesis controllers three button uh, setup translates very well to the DualShock 4. You just use square X and circle. I missed one earlier, so I can't go fully altered beast yet. This guy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spawn me up. Very inopportune place. Points now. All right, guy. You gonna welcome me? Oh man, the voice samples are so good in this. This is tough. I'm definitely gonna lose a life here. But it's nice that it doesn't kick you back to human form. Hmm. I guess I can do my, I need to remember to do that.
He's getting the shakes. Give me a break. There we go. I think like a portal opens up in the ground, right? Yeah. The death sounds really good, right? Listen to this music. This is the pack-in game with the Sega Genesis. This is what, how they tried to sell consoles. I can't really imagine a fantasy game being a console pack-in game today. Mm. These little blob things are pretty cool. Mm. Power up. Power up. Why hasn't anybody sampled that for a brutal dubstep track? Must I do everything? Power up. Those guys are from uh, Golden Axe. Yes, John. Wow, I totally forgot about this boss. Wow. This is totally taking me back. Fully grasping how this is working. Am I doing damage to him? I'm out of lives, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! I really thought I was going to have him there. All right, we'll bounce out of Altered Beast. What should we play next? Golden Axe. I want to figure out how I can get back to... Input options. Weird. How do you get back to the borders? You can reset the console. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we have our Streets of Rage borders in there. Cool. Uh, I don't know if you can look at the trophies from over here. Here we go. So this is some, uh, what uh, some of the trophies are. Beat the, beat some of the challenges. Collect 200 magic in uh, the Golden Axe collection. Alien Soldier is a very cool game. I can show you that game. Uh, 500 rings in the Sonic collection. Columns, the puzzle game. Dynamite Heady is in here. There's a couple good uh, treasure games like Dynamite Heady and uh, Gunstar Heroes are in here. Go next to kill 25 enemies by throwing or knocking them off environment in a single playthrough. Oh, and then uh, for Streets of Rage 3, finish the game on normal or hard. Cool. All right, you guys wanted to see some Golden Axe. Bonanza Brothers, Columns, and Columns 3. Where's Columns 2? Comic Zone, Crackdown, Decap Attack. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bee Machine, Dynamite Heady, ESWAT, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Gain Ground, Galaxy Force 2, here we are, Golden Axe, 1, 2, and 3. Let's jump right into 3, and here's Gunstar Heroes. Yeah. 
uh, subculturens. Uh, it's thirty dollars, thirty bucks. This is the retail release. Thirty bucks for forty games. There should be a golden axe border. So it's gonna look weird having Streets of Rage border on a golden axe. Although friends, we do know right that golden axe takes place kind of in our world. Because spoilers, when you beat golden axe one, the camera zooms out to show some kids playing an arcade game, and all the characters, all the enemies from golden axe jump out of the arcade cabinet and chase them out of the arcade. That's canon. That's Golden Axe canon, ladies and gentlemen. I really like these sequels. I don't know them nearly as well. So, like, there is online play added to these games. So, uh, after the game is out, you could play with uh, a friend online. It's pretty cool. I love when these old games have uh, sound effect screens. This is, this is really good for sampling, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, just coming in here and grabbing some retro game voice samples. Uh, no, they added online co-op Disperia. Disperia books. Here we go. Who should we be? Oh, there's this new, like, barbarian dude. I like this new, like, panther man. You can't be, uh, the dwarf, though? That is horse crap. I like this new guy. I know. Jeremy, I really miss that feature. Okay. Oh, now the dwarf is just gonna, like, stand by and watch while we do all the work. Prince of Darkness. Here I... Oh. He's walking on his own. Looks like I've been the... Uh, I accidentally used my magic <laughs> first thing. <laughs> All right, magic button works. What button was that? There we go. Now, I see I'm in chains, so it looks like I've been freed from some sort of imprisonment. Ooh, yeah. Kind of a, reminds me, he's got a kind of a, he's got a Blanca look to him, doesn't he? Remember when you could, uh, double tap forward to dash? Hey. Dude, I hate these guys. Whoa! Yeah, the magic button is the first, it's button number one. Can he ride? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love video games. Video games are so dumb, and I love them. What is this thing? What is his, his tongue? It looks like he's got like a mace, like a ball and chain for a tongue. Yeah, I'm riding, I'm like a Blanca type dude riding a snail that has legs and also has a ball and chain for a tongue. <laughs> ah! That's a good move. Give me my snail back. This is my snail now. Brutal. <laughs> I like how she didn't make a sound until she was dying, and then she screamed. It's a stampede! Oh, man. Let's see if we can just knock these guys off this thing. I like that gut punch move he does. I jumped off! <laughs> he came back! Note to self, don't jump towards the back of the stagecoach. Who are these ladies? Just 
Headbutted her into oblivion. I like this barbarian guy. He's cool. Turns Golden Axe into a straight up brawler. Ooh. Instead of like a melee weapon game. I'm... Thank you. Wow. I hope we don't ever have to fight that guy. i use some magic now. They're stunned. Oof. Over the shoulder. Wow, finally the spear guy has uh, some good moves. I'm dangerously low on life here on this. Life! Branching paths. I feel like we should go up just because that. I like that option. I can't even hit one of these guys! I keep doing some more sort of weird move. Yeah. Get out of here. Scram! Map of the Eastland. We're going to Domino Towers next. It's an ancient mound. Not quite a mountain. It's just a mound. Mound Everest. Listen to this jam. Turn this up. I want this to play just while I'm walking down the street. Man. Oh. What's that guy doing in the back? Is he eating a snack? Is he eating trail mix? Thank you for just standing there. Go on, yeah, I hear you, little rascal. Well, I've got three magic potions now. I can't forget to lose them before I'm all out of lives. Hope that I can make this little jump here. Uh, ah! I hate this skeleton. This is a Ninja Turtle Skeleton! I want to make sure I can use this magic. <laughs> Get effed. Go. Don't knock me into the pit! Ooh. All right, one last life. Mm. Getting wrecked again. These guys, I hate these guys. All right, this is not my level. <laughs> Dude, what angle do I have to get these guys at? He's got some sort of a block thing that I'm doing. I need the food guy. Yep. Just pick, eat some ground meat. Thank you. 
Not fair. Can I free this dude? Do I need to do anything with this guy? Not even so much as a thank you. Uh, you can tell here that, see the, I've got the screens of my television curved to sort of emulate a real CRTV. CRT TV. Oh, he belly, belly bashed me. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I gotta tell you, I'm just having a great time here. This game is super fun. Here, guys, man. They're gonna be the death of me. Uh, TJ Harris. Yeah, I can show you more of the settings and the menus. You can't really get to the menus inside your game. It's all out in your living room area. Here's another Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Alright. The woman escaped. This guy is still here doing something. Look at that volcano in the distance. Oh no! Magic time! Play on an obscure title? Sure. Get out of here. Whoa! Look at these guys' tails. These guys are badass. Ooh, blocking my attacks. We still have some magic we can use. It's not very effective. And that's it, uh, that's it for uh, Golden Axe 3, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I should uh, create a save state there in case I want to pick my game up from where I left off. Okay. You guys are asking about the uh, console settings here, and the emulator settings. You can, there's several options for like smoothing out the pixels up here under pixel scaling. You can unset on scan lines. TV projection is where you set how much the screen curves. Uh, then over here on emulator, there's a stretch to, to uh, full screen option, but it wasn't actually stretching for me. I don't know if that's I don't know if it's actually supposed to take up the full screen. Then there's this interesting mode to disable sprite limit, uh, which overrides the limit the limitations that were built into the console originally. Uh, so theoretically, it could produce more sprites on screen than it's really supposed to, but it also says it may cause other graphical glitches. So I don't know. And there's also mirror mode where you can mirror all the games and walk left instead of walking right. Okay, feel pretty good. Panic on Funkatron, Toe Jam, Revenge of Shinobi, Sword of Vermilion. What was some? Oh, some you guys wanted to see something obscure. Oh, how about? How about? I'll show you something really obscure and crazy. What is that game? Uh, let's see. The Biohazard Battle is really good. Alien Storm is really good. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Aliens. So there's, yeah, Alien Storm and Alien Soldier. Which one is Biohazard Battle? I need to remind myself. One of these games has like the longest intro of all time. This is not it. I just, I've put in Bonanza Brothers. This is a pretty obscure game though. I like this game. This is a bank robbery game. A side-scrolling bank robbery game. Kind of a stealth game. The Bonanza Brothers. They're wanted dead or alive. There's a hundred dollar reward. So I used to play this in the arcades. This isn't the one I was talking about that had the long intro though. I need to find that one. I like this game. This is a very quirky, obscure game. Uh, and I think this is a multiplayer game. Yeah, this is this is a cool game, right? Ooh, listen to those jams. So yeah, we have to like break into this uh 
into this company and steal some stuff and not get caught. <laughs> Whoa. A fly landed on my head. Forget how we're actually supposed to get past this guy without him seeing us. Probably have to walk up behind him, give him a smack. Oh! Oh, great. I killed... I've killed a police officer. What choice did I have? It's not going well, ladies and gentlemen. Is there any... I can jump? Yeah. I, I, shoot and jump is all I can do. Uh, and then what, the reason I'm playing on the bottom half of the screen is that this is supposed to be a cooperative game. The other player would be playing on the top half. I don't really remember. There we go. We've got an uh, armored SWAT officer up here. Can I, like, jump on this guy's head? <laughs> nope. I can just lead him right to me. He forgot about me real fast. What, these guys saw me? A lot of flies in this building. Yeah, this is supposed to be more of a two-player game. Oh, uh, anyway, Bonanza Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the game I was trying to show you. Biohazard Battle. Oh, this is a 2D shooter. Space Harrier? Is Space Harrier on here? Hmm. Space Harrier 2 is in here. <laughs> My favorite Sonic game of all time is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Fantasyland falls into crisis now. This is the stunner area. Straight stunner. Oh yeah. This is not um not as very not as smooth as I remember. Certainly not as smooth as the arcade, right? This actually looks kind of crappy, I think. Great death sound though. Get ready? Get ready? Anyone remember 3D World Runner? Get ready? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say Space Harrier 2 is not the strongest game in this collection. Oh! Could use some, uh, different enemies about now. Here we go. This guy was always really cool, right? Get ready? Get ready? Oh, now the boss fight starts? Lightning's pretty cool. Kind of like a three-headed Gamera. Okay. That's cool. Get ready. Oh, I got one of its heads. So, you basically just have to avoid him until he comes up here. 
peeps his tiny little heads out. Cool. Well, this music sucks. This this music better. Boss music sucks. This is my last life, and you know I'm okay with it. And that, my friends, is Space Harrier 2. I love these two games, Shining Force and Shining Force 2. They are turn-based strategy games, though, so probably not the most fun stuff for, like, a Let's Play, because they're, like, really long strategy RPGs, but they're so, so good. And then speaking of RT RPGs, you've got Fantasy Stars 2, 3, and 4 right here, which are some of the greatest old-school JRPGs ever. There's, like, hours and hours and hours of gameplay included in there. But check out this game, Landstalker, if you don't know this game. There's a third shelf down here. Vector Man 1 and 2 are in here. Virtua Fighter 2. Virtua Fighter 2 on the Sega Genesis. That's got to look interesting. Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair, which is, isn't this the game that was just remade a couple years ago? Oh, or maybe it's this one. One of these games was just remade. I wish, you know what I wish? You know what this is missing is the front cover. I want to see the front cover art. Now I'm sad. Check out this game. Landstalker. Ooh, I'm going to need to change the borders. Stripes, black. Let's go with, uh, we'll just go with grid. Why am I, why does it bring me to TV? Oh, I know. Reset console. Okay. All right, this game is called Landstalker. This is a very cool isometric action RPG. Uh, we'll check out Mirror Mode next. We can do that with maybe like uh, Streets of Rage. PSVR support? That could be cool. Start. Also a very Zelda-ish appearing game, right? Oh, this has a whole intro sequence. A credits. They're giving us the credits right up front. And you can't skip them. Yes, video game obsession. They do have scan lines. And there's several different pixel settings. This always gives you a preview of what you can expect to be doing in the game. But I really wish I could just jump right in. Got the statue. That's stretched to full screen. Play. So, yeah. This is playing. This is what they're considering to be stretched. To full screen. A little fairy bat thing is cool. All right, so you're thinking, turn off borders. Let me 
reset console, we eject the yeah. cartridge. Trying to get the full screen thing to work. Yeah, it'd be cool if there was more info on each game in your library. So you could see box art, but you could also see like how much time you've spent playing each game, how many times you've died, stuff like that. No, I can't get this. Uh, this is what it thinks full screen is. Save load back play. Yeah. I think full screen just means borders. I think that's what they mean by that. Let's uh, do mirror mode and then do a side scrolling game. Rystar. I don't think I've ever played Rystar. Which is the best streets game? One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's certainly mirrored. Two is the best? What? Now, it's said that they were... <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> Street Super Rage 3 in mirror mode on the Sega Genesis Classics collection. And I've never played Streets of Rage 3. We're going to be Blaze. What? No. Ah, it's Countdown. <laughs> Two has the best music. <laughs> this is so weird. Skip, skip, skip. Backwards talking. Everyone's talking backwards. So this is pretty cool, right? Oh, I've gone and used my special already. Wow, this feels really good. Like, this feels a lot better. A lot smoother. A lot more fast-paced than Golden Axe 3. And we're playing in mirror mode right now, so we're walking left instead of right. Music's crazy. Let me go. Nice. Good move. Get my move. Whoa, hey, settle down there. Reminds me of uh, what the great Amazon in uh, pro wrestling on the NES. That is a great move. <laughs> the music is equivalent of 500 milligrams of caffeine. Whoa! Listen to the sound effect. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Knife. Is this one of the situations where she's just gonna throw it? Or can she actually Yeah, there she goes. Get all stabby stabby with it. Oh. The knife broke, apparently. Yep. Lots of Oh no, he's got a gun! <laughs> That's not fair! Of course. Of course the uh Rich businessmen are cheating. 
Whoa. That was a horrible scream. That was not a human scream. Let's try this. Oh, that's a pretty cool move. What is his name? Mm, can't make out anyone's name. <laughs> well, this game is really fun. Yeah, white collar crime. I've never played Streets of Rage 3 before. This game is awesome. And I'm playing it in mirror mode. The way it was meant to be played. Well, thank you to whoever hid the katana sword under the life preservers. That sure is useful to me. Oh. Not very durable weapons in this world. They break very easily. Not sure what these guys' outfits are. It's got kind of like a Tweedledum, Tweedledee situation going on over here. His name's Dwight. I believe, uh... This is what it's gonna sound like at, uh, Electric Daisy Carnival this weekend. Or was that last weekend? No, I think it's this weekend. This is awesome! Man, this game is so fast-paced. So much more fast-paced than, like, Double Dragon. Feels really good. Whoa. Justin Legary's in here, everybody. Working on something. Do we have a problem, Destin? Whoa. Got my butt kicked. The uh, Classics Collection does not add online multiplayer. So I assume this game could also be played online. Once it's released on May 29th for $30. 40 games, $30. I like how they went to the trouble of uh, giving them all differently colored mohawks. What is even going on in this music? Whoa, that's a good move. Just a surprisingly large move set. Is the music mirror mode too? Maybe that's why it sounds so crazy, yeah. I actually probably wouldn't even notice if this music were a mirror mode. Ah, <laughs> the old turkey under the life preserver. What's gonna be under this one? Disappointment. That's what was under there. They just keep voting new guys in. Like, guys, there's this girl. She's kicking all of our asses down at the wharf. Let's get another boat of guys out there. Love that move. All right, we're walking to a new area. Tube chicken is the only chicken I'll eat, says TJ Harris. What's the money for? Just for points, which 
The points are in mirror mode right now. She says head over heels, I think. Something happens and I'm head over heels. What is... She has... Oh, man. Well, that's game over, and this game is really fun, but in order to uh, check out some other games, let's move on. But man, that is Straight to Rage 3 in mirror mode on the Sega Genesis Classics collection. And I had a really good time, but let's turn off mirror mode for now. Emulator settings. There. Which is the one with the incredibly long intro? Is it Galaxy Force 2? I don't think it is. Maybe Alien Soldier. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, Twitch stream, they had to switch over because they're streaming another game, I believe, right now. Like they're streaming Hyrule Warriors. So it's just us now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, check this out. Hold on here. I'm starting this over. I'm going to reset the console. This is Alien Soldier. And this has one of the longest intros of all time. 12.15 right now. Let's time this intro. It's a treasure game, so Gunstar Heroes, Dynamite Heady. We started this at 12.15. <laughs> yeah, the year is 2015. I stumbled upon this game last year. I couldn't believe how long this intro was. And how like and crazy like complicated the story is. They really expected kids to do a lot of reading in this game. It's been a minute so far. Epsilon Eagle. Thrown into the time-space continuum. Nope, not over yet. <laughs> oh, no, it's not over yet. What is this rabbit thing that's crawling over the planet? That's a rabbit, right? Uh, it's too, been two minutes so far. Still going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what year was this out? 91, 92? At least the music got a little bit better. Imagine how long the instruction manual must have been for this one. It's been three minutes, by the way. You put in this Sega Genesis game in the early 90s, and then you sit through at least three minutes 
of convoluted text scrolling. And it's still going. 1995, so that's a late, late Genesis uh, release. Where the boy had been standing, now stood a birdman with steel wings. Cody Espinosa says, Kojima ripped this storytelling method off for Metal Gear Solid. It's still going. <laughs> Is everyone following the story? Everyone's on the same page with this? Good. It's been four minutes, by the way. Four minutes of a text scroll at the beginning of Alien Soldier. Alright, I think we finally made it. There you have it, the intro. To Alien Soldier. <laughs> Andrew Mons says, no, I missed some. Could you start over? Uh, it's right, it's just under five minutes. For Mega Driver's Custom, how awesome is this title screen? Uh, I'm going to show you what this game looks like. This game is pretty cool. Man, look at this guy, right? Uh, set up your weapons. It's got a weapon choice screen. So, if we pick a Type 1 and a Type 2. Flame Force, Sword Force, Lancer Force, Homing Force, Ranger Force. Oh, you picked four different ones. I don't know. It's telling me... Oh, weird. See the top of the screen, your status window? You can choose how you, what you want it to look like. Type 1 is fine for us, I think. Control test. So we weapon select with A. Brings up this home menu. Shot with B. Cool. Jump with C. Shoot mode change. Can't tell the difference. Zero teleport. Wow. Counterforce. And jump plus C. It's got a hover mode. Alien Soldier, let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun playing this with you guys. <laughs> this is what I want to do for the rest of the day. Look at this guy. Look at this weird little man. Man, don't you feel like, do you ever feel like video games were just, they just used to be a lot weirder than they are now. Ah, I got stuck in hover mode. So, we can switch to a different weapon here. This is our flame force. These are like um, chicken McNuggets. With mouths, and this is the Lost in Space robot. Not the new Lost in Space, old Lost in Space. I don't think my Flame Force is very, uh. Oh my gosh, I'm getting absolutely wrecked over here. Yeah, can shoot down. I powered up something. Chicken Nugget Man. Ranger Force. Oh. It's like, it's not. You have this, like, weapon wheel, but it's not safe to use it because you're still vulnerable. Look at my uh, health bar at the top. We are nearly dead. Oh, man, I jumped out. There was like a grenade just sitting there. That's a pretty cool game over screen. Wow. Alien Soldier after. You know what? You know what is crazy about that? The uh, intro text scroll was longer than my gameplay session. Alien Soldier, everybody. Let's play one more game. Uh, I've got about seven minutes till I have to grab some lunch before we grab, uh, before we record Game Scoop. 
Let's go on. Let's leave on a high note. Shadow Dance, there's a Shinobi game. Those, those are really good. Well, I don't. I wanted to see what Virtua Fighter 2 looked like on the Genesis, but it might not look very good. I don't know. What should we end on? <laughs> Gain Ground is fun. I love Dr. Robotnik's uh, Mean Bee Machine. It's just not the most exciting game, maybe. Do you guys know Alien Storm? This is a... This is a Sega game, obviously. Yeah. This game is very cool. Uh, we'll just play the uh, arcade version. Yeah, one player play. Got your very uh, Golden Axe style character select screen. And I like being the robot in this one. I feel like the robot has the most personality. What is that a woman and her little troll monster are being terrified? He's got this robo whip and then he can also make himself blow up. Yeah. And then runs in and picks up his head. Whoa. This guy's mutated. Let's walk over these things. There's aliens hidden all over the place in this world. I like that dive. Look at these little weird little alien men. The science checks out, you're right. <laughs> this, guy, this guy moves fast. Ooh, he brought out a little gun there. I like how if the, if the alien's close enough to you, he just headshots him. Whoa! Kind of looked like he like lift a le lifted a leg like dog style. Gave him a little... Now, what is happening here? There's a woman and her horrifying little demon baby. What is that? What is that thing? That's not a human child. This game is cool because it's, uh, although it's kind of like Golden Axe with Aliens, there's this whole other game mode, which you'll see in just a second here. He, there he did it again. He lifted a leg. I think this robot is like, I mean, as a robot, he doesn't urinate does he but maybe his body does uh, sort of develop some like waste that he has to expunge check out this mode it turns into a first person shooting mode where there are chickens there's just i like how there's just chickens in these wooden crates that's not how chickens are normally kept i don't believe oh shoot well that is a Mm -hmm. Just shooting everything. Right, who remembers Operation Wolf? I loved that game. I think there was even a Punisher game in that style. Yeah, I think that I want to let them kill that thing. That thing is not of this earth. It's hard to, th what are we playing now? Is this Alien Storm or Alien Soldier? I think this is Alien Storm. I love his little roll and dive. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get out of here. The old leg lift. The alien, the aliens really did a number on this neighborhood. This is like the uh, opening to Fallout 4. There should be a good turkey leg underneath these trash cans. This game is not following video game rules. Whoa. He's just eating the house? So these things are like termites. They're like termites from space. These guys, I've been whipping those trash cans for 30 seconds and those aliens never did anything before. I'm out of life. Oof. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Alien Storm, part of the Sega Genesis Classics Collection out May 29th, PS4, Xbox One, I think PC, not Switch yet, it'll come to Switch eventually, it's got 40 games, and I've just been having a blast playing these games with you guys today, here's our, here's our, here's our little gaming room.
Uh, that's all for me uh, for this uh, Let's Play session, this streaming session. We're going to record Gamescoop this afternoon. We'll get the audio up this uh, evening, and we'll put the video up tomorrow morning. Everybody, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Where's my, where's my game over button?